After Palm Sunday, the Gospel of Matthew tells us that Jesus leaves Jerusalem and travels to the neighboring town of Bethany, where he spends the night. The Gospel writer then shares what happened early Monday morning. This is what it says. Early in the morning, as Jesus was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, may you never bear fruit again. Immediately the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly, they asked. Jesus replied, truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Jesus was really human. He was hungry and in search of some breakfast, but upon closer examination, he is disappointed. It is a fig tree with no figs, just leaves. Jesus pronounces divine judgment on the tree and it withers. The disciples see this and are amazed. How did this happen so quickly, they ask. Jesus uses his frustration to turn the conversation into a powerful lesson for his followers. The last word in Jesus' lesson is prayer. You will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. His ministry had brought him to Jerusalem, the city that sat atop Mount Zion, looked impressive, but contained little, if any, fruit. Jesus described it as being a den of robbers instead of what it was supposed to be, a house of prayer. We wither quickly when we lose our connection to God, both personally or as a community. The lesson Jesus wants his followers to hear is this, we can look impressive, but there is no fruit without prayer. A divine lesson for all of us on this Monday of Holy Week. So let's spend some time in prayer each morning this week and see what fruit God will produce in our lives.